What's up guys, it's Kevin Lee. So today I have a special guest, Jeff Chen from MMA Shredded. So Jeff's gonna be showing us what his favorite set out to the hip sweep. Yeah, I call it a hip sweep. The hip sweep. And we're gonna talk about how you set it up, uh, the timing to use it, and what happens if you fail the technique. Okay. So please take it away. Okay, so I guess I can first um, show the mechanics of it. So my system revolves around the double step. Mm -hmm. So first I'm gonna show the double step low kick. I take two steps. I slide my rear leg forward, take another step off, and I, I chop. See so yeah, how there's two steps. So mm. everything revolves around that. So when I want to do the hip sweep, I'm gonna take two steps. That's how I generate the most momentum, and that's how I close the distance. Because mm. the double step closes the distance. I'm gonna step my rear leg forward, I'm gonna sink that weight down, and now instead of stepping off to the side for the kick, I'm gonna step beside your leg. Oh. Yeah, now from here, this comes right across the chest, and I'm gonna hip bump. Nice. So, so, okay. The mechanics, again, look how, I'm, I'm doing it from afar. So see how when you're trying to walk closer, I, I like oh, immediately step back. Oh, interesting. Yeah, if, okay. I, if I do it here, it's unlikely to work. I don't have enough momentum. Because oh. if I just take one step, if uh -huh. I just take one step, I'm you're not... gonna get out of the way. Mm. And say you didn't, say okay. you didn't, it's not far enough and I won't get the, the power. The momentum that yes. you need. Oh, okay. So I need a bit of space so that I can take a, Oh wow, I'm flying. Yeah, so I, I catch you so you don't yeah. fall, but, but later, later we'll do it where I don't hold them. Okay. And you can see that like when I hit this, people do a backflip. Back they can do a backflip, yeah, if I'm like going hard. Really Especially, hard. I was actually teaching this just like yesterday in class, uh -huh. and um, there's a guy that's 230 pounds, still works. Wow. Yeah, very, very powerful because it's the double step. So the double step is what makes this work in the, in the mechanical sense to you. Yes, Okay. I've seen people take just one step, but I feel like it's too slow and there's less power. Mm. The double step helps me generate that power Okay. and speed and distance I close. Okay. I use it the most when people move forward at me. So now I guess we can get into the setups. That makes sense. Um, so say you're shelling up and you're trying to get in my pocket uh -huh. and I'm trying to keep the distance. Uh -huh. Yeah, then that's when I... Oh, nice. Do the uh, hip sweep. How close when is the hip to forward. my hip? When so you do this I'll go back to the mechanics. Uh -huh. I step. I, I step right behind you. Okay. A common mistake is to step here. So now when I do a hip sweep, only one leg comes up, and you don't fall, and you do a little twist. Yeah. So sometimes that happens. Ah. And, okay. And I guess we can talk about the follow up now. If if that happens, I don't get completely around. Uh huh. Maybe I can follow up with a kick. Okay. Yeah. So that's what happens if fail. Yeah, here, maybe, oh, doesn't work. Maybe I fall with a kick. Nice. But usually, <clears throat> if you can get around, uh -huh. usually you hit the sweep. Okay. Do you do any punches or kick to set this up? So my first, so the hip sweep used to be a rare, special sweep that I get maybe on less experienced people mm -hmm. because I just wasn't good at it. Mm -hmm. So my first setup was a simple feint in the cross. Okay. So I feint, maybe you shell up. <laughs> Right? Um, now, and then my second setup that worked for me was mm -hmm. I would do a regular double step low kick, step, chop. I can see where this is gonna go. Now I step and you lift the block. Yeah, because now I do this. And, and then now you're on one oh, leg oh, and I lift them right up. <laughs> you know, it's funny enough, when I was in Thailand, that's how um, Nangao got me. Yeah, when they lift the leg up. Yeah, he would like fake the kick and I went like this. As soon as I do that, but instead of sweep my hip, he went on to cut my yeah. yeah, yeah, kicks the cap. We see that it's very common Muay Thai where they uh -huh. lift and they, they yeah. gallop into the kick. Yeah. And there's a sending effect because my body was up in there like this. Yeah. And I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Um, go, okay, one go more ahead. time. Yeah. So I do my double step low kick. Bang. And just this makes you think. Yeah, because I'm not about to raise my leg. Yeah. And then Oh wow. Do you drive forward? When you go in, do you just continue to go with the momentum? So I'll do it once for you. Just uh -huh. be ready to break fall. Hold on. For the sake of the camera. <laughs> See how you grabbed onto me. I have to. Right? <laughs> yeah, <he's, laughs> but yeah, it's, it's very powerful. Yeah. Especially against, especially you're lighter. Yeah. Yeah. I felt my hip was raised up in the air. So as I was traveling, I was gonna grab onto to release the pressure. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, my 
main one that I do now uh -huh. is off the swish kick. So I'm okay. here, boom. Maybe you check, maybe undercatch, doesn't matter. Boom. Oh, okay, okay. Cause I'm gonna do this. Oh, yes. We. Oui. <laughs> yeah. Even if you don't check, maybe you just Dutch block. It's just set up. Bang. Oh, nice. Wow, oh, God. He's so, very explosive when he does his technique. The, uh, he, now, now look at the details of my footwork. Okay. Ah. Oh. I switch, step, step. You're angling off. Yes, because here, so here's another common mistake uh -huh. is to do this and not take an angle. Now it's, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing like a, a diamond <clears throat> shape here, mm. here. I need to make a nice wide oval. Oh. So maybe if you stand here, okay. you, you get my back. Look how wide I come. I can see nice it now. Because if that was a center line, you're really going around this line. Yeah. I think that's a mistake I made yesterday when I was sparring with you. Because I tried this technique, but I was here. <laughs> too close, yeah. I was too close. And what, what people mm. does, I do, do it again. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. Because I see it coming. But if you come here, I don't have the... Yeah, now, I'm a, now oh, I can't... You already trapped wow. me. See that? You already trapped me. That's I cool. couldn't even step back. So it had to come nice and wide. That's a really nice detail that I did not see before. Yes. I really like that. Yeah. Okay, so now he's gonna hit it hard on me. Okay. I'm gonna take this off for this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a good defense to it. Grabs my arm. <laughs> like, like you're fucking holding. My instinct is like, crap, I'm gonna sweat. Let's grab onto something. But the falling is still happen. It's still because the, the momentum is so great. So you can imagine if someone does not know it's coming and maybe he blocks. Yeah. And then boop, it just. Oh, and it's scary too. Because you just kind of kind of see the ceiling and it just flip. Wow. Well, I hope you guys catch all that detail that Jeff is teaching. Because I even for me, I learned something new. Because I think in every style they teach a little different. Yeah. But I really like the way that you set up where you're angling off the line and be able to kind of project. And you have a good system of how you either enter and exit. Yeah. I think that's really important. And, and then one more, one more thing I already mentioned earlier, but it's, mm -hmm. it's, it works the best when your partner is stationary or when your partner moves forward. Mm. Because I get a lot of people trying to close the distance on me because I like to run and I like to be annoying. Yeah. So people try to close the distance on me, they try to shell. Mm -hmm. They shell, blurs their vision. They don't see me circle to the side. That makes sense. This hip sweep is very hard to do it on me. I don't know. Like in the most humble way, I, I don't remember the last person that did it to me because I move so much. So yeah. as soon as you move, it's really hard to do. That makes a lot of sense. Well, yeah. it's all footwork, footwork. Footwork, footwork, and movement. Well, thank you so much, sir. I hope you guys liked the video today. If any question, please leave in this, uh, your question on the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.